Principal Skinner. It's nice to finally meet you in person. Likewise, Superintendent Chalmers. Thank you for coming. Of course your home looks lovely from the outside. Did you do the renovations yourself? Yeah, I've been working hard on this project. It's been a lot of work, but I'm proud of what I've accomplished. Wow, that's impressive. What kind of recipes have you been trying out? I've been experimenting with different dishes from mainland China. Today I made a delicious mainland China. Oh, uh, that sounds delicious. Can I try a drink while we wait for the food to arrive? Of course. Let me grab two glasses and we can enjoy the view from my balcony. This is a beautiful home you have here, Principal Skinner. The view is stunning. Thank you, Superintendent. I'm happy to share it with you. So, how has your week been? It's been busy as usual, but this lunch break is much appreciated. Thank you for having me. I'm glad you could come. Let's catch up again soon and maybe you can try some of the dishes I've been working on. I would love that, Principal Skinner. Sounds like a great idea. You? I burned the food again. Why does this always happen to me? I need to figure out what to do next. Maybe I should try a new recipe or maybe even contact the manufacturer. Yeah, let me think. Maybe if I use less heat or maybe I shouldn't have used plastic utensils. So many possibilities. All right. I've made my decision. I will try a new recipe and perhaps invest in silicone utensils next time. I need to find a replacement dish for fishery in mainland China. Let's see how we can prepare this substitute. I could try using rice or noodles as a substitute for the mainland China, and for the fishery I could add some spices and herbs. Yes, that could work. This cunning plan of mine is going to be a hit. I can't wait to see the reaction of my guests when they taste this dish. Skinner, what's that smoke coming from the kitchen? Oh, don't worry about it. That's just the steam from the mainland China. Trust me, it's a delicious dish. Steam doesn't look, look like that, Skinner. It's clear and dissipates quickly. This is smoke, and it's filling up the entire kitchen. Fine, I give up. I must have burned it then. Oh, Murray Chalmers. I'll make it again, and this time you'll see the difference between steam and smoke. Well, I'm not sure about that, Skinner. But keep trying. I'll be here to taste tests. All right, let me try again. Chalmers, this time you won't be able to deny the deliciousness of this dish. We'll see about that, Skinner. But I still don't trust your cooking skills. I'll prove you wrong, then. Watch me make the perfect steam dish. All right, I'll be here to witness your failure. This doesn't look like steamed mainland China, Skinner. Ah, but my friend, this is in fact fishery, which is known as mainland China in a regional dialect. I don't believe you, Skinner. I've had steamed mainland China before, and it was nothing like this. Trust me, my friend. You're just not used to the regional dialect. I don't understand why you're lying to me, Skinner. Can't you serve me what I asked for? I'm sorry, Chalmers. We must have misunderstood your order. Let me fix this for you right away. Fire in the kitchen, did you see it? Yeah, it's just an electric eel. Don't worry about it. An electric eel? I don't think so. We need to check it out. No, it's not safe. Let's just leave it alone. I want to see for myself. You're not going to fool me. Fine, but be careful. Hey, that was close. Thanks for keeping an eye on things while I put that out. No problem. I'm just glad everything turned out okay. Sinner, do you really think electric eels are behind that house fire across the street? I'm not sure, Chalmers. It could be anything. Are you serious? How can you be so nonchalant about it? <laughs> yes, let's do it. Maybe we'll finally find out what's going on. Sounds like an adventure. Let's grab our jackets and head out.
I bet we'll have a great time, Skinner. Thanks for being open to it. No problem, Chalmers. Let's go uncover the truth.